The prospect of a Kamala Harris presidency should give every American pause. Her rise to the highest office in the land is not just a political shift, it represents a potential transformation of the American way of life. Her policies, steeped in progressive ideology, threaten the very fabric of our nation. These are not just minor adjustments, but radical changes that could redefine our societal norms and values. From the economy to healthcare, from national security to our fundamental freedoms, a Harris administration would represent a sharp turn away from the principles that have made America great. The economic policies she advocates could lead to increased taxes and regulations, stifling innovation and growth. In healthcare, her push for a single-payer system could result in longer wait times and reduced quality of care. This essay will delve into the potential consequences of a Harris presidency, examining the facts and exposing the potential harm her policies could inflict on all Americans. We will explore how her stance on national security could weaken our defences and how her approach to civil liberties might erode the freedoms we hold dear. Our nation stands at a crossroads. The decisions we make in the coming years will determine the direction of our country for decades. The choices we make today will have far-reaching consequences for generations to come. Our children and grandchildren will live with the outcomes of our actions, and it is our responsibility to ensure a prosperous and free future for them. We cannot afford to be silent. Silence in the face of such potential change is a form of complicity. We cannot afford to be complacent. Complacency could lead to the erosion of the very freedoms and opportunities that define our nation. The future of America hangs in the balance. The decisions we make now will shape the landscape of our nation for years to come. The stakes have never been higher. Every vote, every voice, and every action counts in this critical moment. We must be prepared to fight for the soul of our nation. It is a fight that requires vigilance, courage, and unwavering commitment to the principles that have always made America a beacon of hope and freedom. Kamala Harris's economic policies are a recipe for disaster. Her proposed tax hikes would cripple businesses and stifle job growth. Small businesses, the backbone of our economy, would be hit particularly hard. Regulations would multiply, strangling innovation and entrepreneurship. The free market thrives on competition and individual initiative. Harris's policies would replace this dynamism with government control and bureaucratic overreach. The result? Economic stagnation, fewer opportunities and a lower standard of living for all Americans. We cannot afford to gamble with our economic future. A strong economy requires sound policies that empower individuals and businesses, not government dictates that stifle growth. Kamala Harris is a vocal proponent of government-run healthcare. Her vision would lead to a system where bureaucrats, not doctors, make critical healthcare decisions. Wait times would skyrocket as government inefficiency takes hold. Quality of care would plummet as innovation is stifled. The right to affordable quality healthcare is paramount. However, a government takeover is not the answer. We need market-based solutions that empower patients and providers, not bureaucratic nightmares that ration care and limit choices. A healthy America requires a healthcare system that puts patients first. Harris's plans would do the opposite, jeopardizing the well-being of millions of Americans. Kamala Harris's foreign policy positions raise serious concerns about America's standing in the world. Her approach, often seen as overly cautious and conciliatory, could undermine the nation's influence and credibility on the global stage. Her weak stance on terrorism would embolden our enemies and make America less safe. By not taking a firm and decisive approach, terrorist organizations might perceive this as an opportunity to expand their activities, posing a greater threat to national and global security. Her appeasement-minded approach to hostile regimes would only encourage aggression and instability. Instead of deterring adversaries, such policies could lead to increased boldness from nations that do not share our values, further destabilizing already volatile regions. America must lead from a position of strength, not weakness. 
a robust and assertive foreign policy is crucial to maintaining global order and ensuring that our interests are protected. We must project confidence and resolve on the world stage. Our allies depend on us to be a reliable partner, and our adversaries must understand that we will not waver in our commitments. Harris's policies would diminish our standing, making us appear hesitant and unreliable to our allies and emboldening our adversaries. This perception of weakness could lead to a loss of trust and cooperation from key international partners. A strong national defence and a clear foreign policy doctrine are essential to protecting American interests at home and abroad. Without these, we risk compromising our security and our ability to influence global events. Harris's approach would make us more vulnerable, not less. By failing to address critical threats decisively, we could face increased risks to our national infrastructure, border security and overall stability. It is imperative that we adopt policies that safeguard our nation and uphold our leadership role in the world. Section 5. The Erosion of Our Sacred Freedoms Perhaps most concerning is Kamala Harris's disregard for our fundamental freedoms. Her actions and policies have raised alarms among those who cherish the liberties enshrined in our Constitution. Her policies would empower the government at the expense of individual liberty. This shift in power dynamics threatens the very essence of what it means to be free in America. She has consistently supported policies that infringe on our First Amendment rights, which protect our freedom of speech, religion and assembly. These rights are the cornerstone of a free society. Additionally, her stance on gun control measures seeks to restrict our Second Amendment rights, which guarantee our ability to defend ourselves and our loved ones. Furthermore, her policies undermine our Fourth Amendment protections against unreasonable searches and seizures, eroding our right to privacy. The Constitution is the bedrock of our Republic. It is a living document that guarantees our God-given rights and limits the power of government to ensure that no one branch becomes too powerful. It guarantees our God-given rights and limits the power of government. These principles are what make America a beacon of hope and freedom around the world. Harris's policies represent a direct assault on these foundational principles. By expanding government control, she threatens to dismantle the very freedoms that define our nation. We cannot allow the government to chip away at our freedoms. Every small encroachment sets a dangerous precedent for further erosion of our rights. We must stand vigilant against any attempt to erode the liberties that make America exceptional. It is our duty to protect and preserve these freedoms for future generations. Section 6. The Illusion of Progress Proponents of Kamala Harris tout her policies as progressive and forward-thinking, but this is a dangerous illusion. Her agenda is not about progress. It's about power. It's about concentrating power in the hands of the few at the expense of the many. True progress empowers individuals, strengthens families, and upholds the principles of limited government and individual liberty. Harris's policies would do none of these things. We must not be fooled by the rhetoric of progress. True progress comes from individual initiative and freedom, not government mandates and control. Section 7. The Forgotten Americans. Kamala Harris's policies would disproportionately harm the very people she claims to champion. Her economic policies would stifle opportunities for working families and small businesses. Her health care plans would limit choices and reduce quality of care for the most vulnerable. The American dream is about opportunity for all, regardless of background or circumstance. Harris's policies would make this dream more elusive, not less. We must stand up for those who are struggling, not with empty promises, but with policies that empower individuals and create real opportunities. Section 8. A Choice for Our Future. The 2024 election is a choice between two fundamentally different visions for America. On one hand, we have Kamala Harris and her radical agenda. On the other hand, we have the principles of limited government, individual liberty and free markets that have made America the envy of the world. This is not just an election, it's a battle for the soul of our nation. We must choose wisely. The future of our country hangs in the balance. 
We must choose the path that leads to freedom, prosperity and opportunity for all. Section 9. The stakes have never been higher. The consequences of a Kamala Harris presidency are too dire to ignore. Her policies would weaken our economy, jeopardize our health care, diminish our standing in the world and erode our fundamental freedoms. This is not hyperbole. It is the inevitable outcome of her radical agenda. We must not stand idly by as our nation is steered down a path of decline. We must raise our voices in opposition to this dangerous ideology. We must fight for the principles that have made America great. The time for complacency is over. The future of our nation depends on it. Section 10, a call to action. The time to act is now. We must educate ourselves and our fellow citizens about the dangers of a Kamala Harris presidency. We must engage in respectful but firm dialogue with those who hold opposing views. And we must vote for candidates who will uphold the Constitution and fight for our freedoms. The future of our nation is in our hands. Let us choose wisely. Let us choose freedom. Let us choose America.